right, so it's getting late again. Yeah, maybe we got skunked and uh, not really getting the goal that I wanted. Uh, not that I expected that much today because I didn't know how it was going to look. But might as well let's learn something. I left that one part that I was at and look at this river. This river did not look like this this summer. Look at that. I mean, you're talking about, you can see like through here. That boulder, I mean, just that boulder alone, look how big that is. You can tell that it's been pushed there. And then all these branches pushed. You can see they're all going in that direction. That means this river, instead of actually going that way, it went this way. And it actually crossed right through there. Look at that. It's nuts. So there's so much to learn. And guess what? Number one, number one lesson for gold prospector. It's floods. Floods bring you gold. <laughs> it's exactly what you need. And look at that. Look at that. Now, if I would estimate from the water level now to there, easy 10 feet, maybe more. I don't have nothing to measure, but uh, I've been in construction long enough. I know what 10 feet looks like. Check that out. You can almost build a uh, tree house there. Just nuts. So, uh, now it's getting dark. There's no way I can't see much, and my hands are freezing. Um, found a few little specks. Uh, I think the pan that I was actually showing in, and I ended up shutting it down uh, by mistake. You know, I had a few, uh, but nothing that I even want to bother to sniff it out. Um, you know, I think. Uh, by the look of this, boy, I can only imagine. This is just the beginning of winter. This can easily get a lot worse than this. You know, I mean, this water can get much higher. Now, we did have a flood, so that probably was the one that was causing all of these. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, Boulder galore. Now we're looking just in case a big nugget is just kind of showing and just saying, hey, take me home. You know. Are you a nugget? Mr. Nugget? No, I don't think so. Well, we're going to check it out. I know it. Would be nice. That is crazy. Just crazy. And I was gonna be on my way home. And then I saw this spot up thinking, whoa, I saw what the water did. Thinking I better go over there and check it out. Obviously you gotta have lots of time and patience. You have to check in a whole bunch of different places. But you can see again, starting from ouch, from this boulder. Look at all that. Look at that. You can see how the water pushed it. So now the river's going pretty much about, uh, about 25 feet to the left. And then, boom, you come here. And you can see it went actually straight out that way like that. So, uh, yep. Okay, dark. Now, it's always good to learn. Always good to learn. You know, you just never know. It's getting dark. I mean, look at these logs. Just to move that along. That is huge. That tree got pushed down. And the water came through here. We didn't bring much rocks. This right here, this is, I'm sure they were here before. Yeah, but you can tell this is not the first time. There's a channel right in there, right in that area. So water did came through there before. So you know, I mean, really, even right in here, because there's a pocket here, right in there, that can, you know, dig a little bit, find bedrock. There is bedrock here, believe it or not. I've seen it. Not today, but I know they are. So, well... Uh, 
this bedrock and lots of clay. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's that channel I was talking about. Yeah. But it's getting dark, guys. So, uh, I'll leave you with this for now. Check that out over there. You can see it. That is just nuts. All right. Later.